button don't forget to turn on that push notifications on so y'all will not miss any more uploads so today i am doing a Kane's mukbang i got um the box combo you know and with a lemonade i love their lemonade i think they got the best lemonades um so if y'all hear my daughter in the background <laughs> excuse me or excuse her So how are y'all doing today? Now I tried to do better with the setup. I'm still gonna do better. I'm in my bedroom, of course. <laughs> um, just be patient with me. I'm gonna get better, you know? It's, it's gonna get a little better. My bones gonna get better, but just be patient for the meantime. Um, I'm gonna have a better setup. So my memory card has not arrived yet. But it should be here. Amazon said it should be here Monday. So today's Saturday. We'll see. So what's up, you guys? I don't really have a um, king size. Mm, look at that. I don't really have any topic today. So I'm just going to be rambling and just eating my food. Okay, guys, so while I eat, I guess I want to talk to you. Let me know down in the comments below if you like canes. Now, it had to grow on me because I always, I mean, I, I used to think that it was so bland, which it still is sometimes. It's all about what location you go to. Um, but it's good. If you don't know, I, I am like, I'm not an official chef, but I am a chef. Um, I love to cook. Like, I am a big cook. Love to cook. When it comes to family functions or Thanksgiving dinners, I do, I do all of that. <laughs> Very picky eater. I don't like any and everybody's food. You know, I like my stuff to be seasoned. And well cooked, you know, you know, I like my shit cooked to perfection, you know. So I am a, a picky eater when it comes to certain stuff. I just like good food. Mmm, take that bite. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's all. So, I guess this video can be to let you guys know a little bit about me. Mm. Um, my name is Trace. <laughs> Trace Janelle. So, I keep changing my YouTube channel name because I do not know what name I want to do. Like, at first I had it as Vibing with B or Vibing with Trees, but I noticed somebody else has something very similar and I just want to be something, I just want to be completely different. And so I'm like, just keep your name. Now, I do have another um, YouTube channel with the same name, Trees Janelle. 
I think I only have like three subscribers. <laughs> this is all my nieces. Shout out to my nieces. Hey y'all. Um I only uploaded one video and it really wasn't nothing. It was supposed to be like an intro. So and I tried to get that account back, but um I'm having a hard time trying to retrieve that old YouTube channel. So here I am. With the new one. Y'all, if y'all haven't had King's Lemonade, go try it. I think they got the best lemonade. I, I like them better than Chick-fil-A's lemonade. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So, anywho, I'm Trees. I am a mother. Loving mother of one. I have a daughter, a two-year-old daughter. Her name is Kavani. Kavani Dior. I'm single. Um, not really looking for nothing. Um, no relationship. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to heal. I'm just trying to do me. You know, I'm trying to live. Do me. So I did have that interview scheduled this week, but unfortunately I was not able to make it the one yesterday. Due to other reasons, I don't want to get into it too much. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward, you know. But. You guys don't know. Um, purely do not have a view. I don't drive at the moment because I had got into a terrible car accident um, last year. And I was placed at fault, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to say it's going to be in another video that I already talked about it. So, um, just waiting for that, you know, for my license to be valid and so I can be able to drive and do things on my own. That way I'm not depending on other people to take me here and there, you know, and I don't like being an inconvenience to others. So I don't, I try not to ask, um, for much. I don't ask people for much. Um, hold on, I'm trying to just catch up. <laughs> I don't ask people for much. And I am a little prideful when it comes to that. And I guess I got to get better with that, but. Long, t long story short, I asked somebody to take me to an interview. They wasn't here to take me to the interview. And it's a long story, but it is what it is. You know, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. So, I'm not about to be here. I'm not trying to bash nobody. I'm not trying to put nobody down or make somebody feel any type of way. It is what it is. So, I can't really. The only person I really could trust and depend on is me at the end of the day. Yeah, so many fries, fries. Mmm, mm, that's so good. I am the middle child on my mom's side of five. And on my dad's side, I'm the. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Um. Okay, so my mom and dad are not together. They haven't been since I was like three, probably two or three. And which is cool, you know. I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Shout out to them Razorbacks. What's up? Mm. If y'all don't know too much about Little Rock, Arkansas, it's the natural state. Okay. <laughs> It is all. It's very black. <laughs> but I love it. You know, it's very southern. Not too many people is familiar with Little Rock. So, um, hopefully we can put Little Rock on the map. I'm pretty sure y'all know that um, YouTuber, Miss Lil' Perfect, or Jazz, she's from Little Rock. Shout out to her. I've been watching her for years, which made me kind of want to do YouTube. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers 
is a higher like dress. I like um queen, child is queen. Um Step and Tasha. Them two got me started. Now them is mine. I love watching them. I feel every day. So I'm gonna talk to be loves life. Um so the list can go on, man. It can go on. And I um I started watching Mud Bombs. I didn't really get into it too much. I don't really knew was into it until I was got pregnant. When I was pregnant, I was just, just always be hungry. So yeah, I used to watch my phones a lot. And I yeah, so <laughs> I started off watching uh Be Love's Life. Love her, love her, love her. And but my favorite is Steph and Tasha. I love them. Awesome. My favorite. Mukbanger. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. So, shut them out. There's some other ones, but I'm gonna make sure I write them down before I come back to the, um, to the channel. Of the other ones. Shout out to Funny Mike, CJ So Cool. Neek. That's my girl. I like her. And I even like Carmen and Corey, you know. Um Y'all be giving them hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all be giving them a hard time, you know. Which makes me kinda hesitant on starting you too, because you pretty much living your life and you know. Publicly, like I'm a very private person, always have been very private, very timid, very shy. So I say to myself, I don't like people in my business, so I really want to see how this goes. But I don't really got that much business anyway, so let me get into all that. But I like Carmen and Corey, I do feel like they have a um. Some people can say they have a toxic relationship, but it's real. You know, I'm not going to say it's the best relationship, but they are who they are. Like, I hate when um, people get on the internet and start bashing people for how they live their life. Like, that's their life, bro. Like, focus on yours. <laughs> so... I don't know, I can kind of uh, relate to Carmen a little bit. Like, we all been there, you know? We all been there, so I like her. Shout out to them. Even though they might not ever watch it. Or oh, they might. You never know. You never know. Stay positive. Um. So, yeah, those are my favorite uh, YouTubers. This is why I'm going to start YouTube. It's just it's to get out of my comfort zone, do something different. And, and to make money too, you know, that's a plus. But it's just to get out of my comfort zone. I want to become my own boss. I don't want to depend on nobody. And I also want to, um, I like inspiring people. I like to help people a lot. So, um, that's why I started. So, uh, share my experiences, you know. Where I go through, and hopefully, help some of you out there that can relate to me. If not, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. This setup is a little bit different. Like, I really had to get better with this. Um,. No, but I just, I'm very self-conscious, like, of how I look, which I'm in, but I'm not, you know? I've never been the girly girly, wear your makeup, get makeup. I just never been, like, I was in raised that way. Um, granted, my grandma used to always tell us, you know, I'm all over the place, sorry. <laughs> my grandma used to, um, 
Like, you need to wear makeup. Y'all supposed to wear makeup. And I guess back in the day, you was always taught not to leave the house without wearing makeup. But my mom never really instilled that in us. So, I'm not really a girly girl. So, excuse me if I'm be looking a mess half the time. And you would think that I would care what other people say, but I don't. But I really do, though, because I'm very sensitive. I'm a cancer. Shout out to my cancers out there. Um, so, I am sensitive. I just don't show it. I just don't show it. But, anywho, back to me. <laughs> I am the middle child on my mom's side at five. I have an older brother, older sister. A little brother and a little sister. So, I'm literally smack dead in the middle <laughs> of everything. Which is cool. Um, growing up, I used to be the loud one at home. But, like, when I go to school and stuff or get in front of people, I'm like, I get right back into my shell. I'm very quiet, very reserved. I don't even... I open up to people that I trust. Like, I have to trust you. I mean, maybe you need the room, but that's why I face is a little boring. Um, I'm not, this channel is not strictly going to be um, based off of mukbangs. Like, I'm going to be doing other stuff. I'm going to be pushing out more content. I'm going to be doing pranks and all that. Mmm. Oh. Is that a Sorry, I had a piece of pencil. Oh. And, um, I'm going to be doing other type of um, content. And I originally told myself I was not going to do mukbangs. And that I was not going to be doing no story times or talking. Just because I'm shy and I don't see myself ever opening up. And so when I told myself that, I'm like, that's exactly why you need to be doing it. <laughs> you need to challenge yourself. Always put, um, challenge yourself. Get out of your comfort zone and try something different. So here I am. I originally wanted to do um, strictly ASMRs, like no talking. And I still am going to do that, but um, I'm do, I just want to do a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. So here I am. I'm going to definitely be doing pranks. So stay tuned with that. Excuse my hair. I'm going to do my hair y'all soon. Um, hopefully I get that soon. I'm gonna get it done soon, guys. I'm stay tuned. So I got vlogs coming up. Gym vlogs gonna be coming up. So stay tuned. I'm going to upload another soon. My best friend's birthday coming up next month. So, I'm going to uh, be vlogging what we're doing for her birthday, going on this little trip, mini trip. And I'm also, um, should be heading out to Cali next month for my little cousin's birthday. So, that's going to be fun. Can't wait. Um, hopefully you guys, I'm able to, to get some content so y'all can see how we, how we do it. <laughs> how we is, how we turn up. Mm. This is so good. And I'm gonna introduce the um uh, I'm gonna introduce all of them to my channel. So my sister gonna be on here if they let me. Um, <laughs> my best friend she said she gonna get on here, so we'll see. You know, we gonna do the do. We gonna do. We gonna do the damn thing. <laughs> I didn't think it because y'all, I didn't been through some shit. All right, we've been through a lot of shit. A lot. Um, and I don't even know where to start. So we're going to just take it slow and day by day. I don't, I'm trying to stay on topic. So, but this is just a little rambling. I'm just going to say rambling and getting to know me a little better.
You guys know that I'm still looking for a job. The only thing I do with my day Christmas stuff is staying in the house. Or I take my daughter to the park. I cook. Uh, I clean. And I also take care of, uh, well, I don't take care of them, but I have three nieces that I do for as well. So they be here with me, you know. That's my daughter crying. Hold on, y'all. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, I had to, I had to send to my child. Um, yeah, I forgot where I was at, but anywho. All right, three nieces. Chris Kyle and Amari, shot the mush. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Mm, so, I'll be with them a lot. You know, we just be doing little things. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that thing. I'll just be chilling. So I'm like, why not start YouTube? So here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> Let me know if y'all know that song. That reminds me of uh, Cedric the Entertainer. I'm keeping the comment. Remember that song that I first entered? Here I go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's just me. I'm definitely going to do uh, um, a video on why I am single. I think that's going to be my next topic. But I wanted to do it with maybe my sisters or just a group of my friends. So. Stay tuned with that so we can give you guys our feedback and relationship advice and all types of stuff. So that stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm gonna give y'all a little a PG a PG rated rated PG version. <laughs> um, you have any like one in the dark Arkansas? Um, I moved to Atlanta when I was about two or three. I don't know. I moved to, I was, we, so we moved to Atlanta. Me and my mom, with my mom and my aunt and, um, my siblings. Excuse me. And yeah, we moved to Atlanta. My mom met my stepdad there. Yeah, the rest is history, but it's cool. There's that we went when we first moved down there, we moved to College Park. Tight park, but the spot. <laughs> booty 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 everywhere. Um and eventually a lot of my Family end up moving down there after us, so a lot of them. So we all relocated to Atlanta from Little Rock, Arkansas, and then um, was down there until I was about thirteen. A good ten years. Now I didn't go to school in College Park. I went to school in Decatur. That's where I mainly. That's who pretty much. That's where we grew up at, in Decatur. Clarkston, Decatur area. Went to school there. And we ended up moving to Columbus, Ohio, where we right, still reside. It's Columbus, Ohio, when I was about 14. And I've been here, we've been here ever since. And to be honest with you, I love it. I love it here. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm more comfortable here. I love it here. I love Atlanta. Don't get me wrong. I do love Atlanta. Um, the only thing that I do not like about Georgia is the is the traffic. Like I cannot. I don't even know. 
I always tell myself, like, I'm going to move back, I'm going to move back. But that traffic is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. So that's the only thing that's really stopping me from moving back down there. And um, Columbus, if you guys don't know, Columbus is one of the number one cities with a lot of with the best jobs. Like, it's so much... Um, job, so many job job opportunities up here, and so that's why I stay. You know, daughter's born here. That's why I stay. So I like it here. You know, it's cool. It's definitely a total difference, <laughs> totally different from Atlanta vibe. So I was growing growing up in Atlanta. We didn't have to deal with snow or anything. If it did snow, which was like very rare, um, when they shut the whole city down, it don't even be snow on the ground. Granted, when we moved up here, four or five, you still gotta go to school and for five inches or six inches of snow. And it's just like, uh -uh. <laughs> like I was like, so even so we still gotta go, even though they're used to it, but it's just, it's crazy, and I just feel it's just crazy, right? It's definitely different vibes up here. I like Ohio. I don't care nobody say I love my guys. I love old, old state. And this is like a lot of confusion come from. So when people be like, "Where are you from?" I can't never just stick to one. You know, <laughs> like I'm yeah, I'm originally. As, I'm originally born in Little Rock, but I wasn't raised in Little Rock, if that makes sense. Now, I did go to high school there. I mean, I went to school there for a couple of months. Uh, not for too long, though. We did a lot of back and forth. We did move over, moved around a lot as we was I mean, as kids. Um, I did go to Little Rock. I went my middle school year. I went to Henderson um, for sixth grade. I didn't do the whole sixth grade because we ended up moving back to Atlanta. And um, we moved back to Atlanta. Went to Shamrock Middle School. And then when we came from here, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place because y'all, my life is just all over the place. Please, I'm gonna get better. But anyhow, when I was here, I was still in the middle school, eighth grade. And if y'all wonder about the ages, just like I held back in the seventh grade in Atlanta. It is what it is. I used to be so embarrassed, so embarrassed to tell that story. Or to tell people that I got held back, but I'm not embarrassed anymore, you know? It is what it is. I am who I am. I can't rewind it's the hands of time. I can't ignore it. So, I was here, eighth grade. I went to sophomore middle school. And I've been here since. So, when people be like, well, where are you from? I don't, I'd be like, well, Little Rock, Atlanta, and Ohio. <laughs> because they all have. They all got a little, I mean, I have all of that in me. I have a little bit of Atlanta in me. I got a little bit of Ohio in me. I got a little bit of Little Rock in me. So those three states is the main three states that I'm going to forever rep. I don't care what nobody saying. If you feel some type of way, like, oh, she ain't from here, she ain't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. You know, like, it is what it is. Um, all, I mean, it all contributed to who I am today. You know, I do got a lot of Little Rock in me. Um, <laughs> we got some Decatur in us. We got a little bit of Columbus in us, you know? Excuse me. Or whatever you want to call it. Hillier or whatever. It's the suburbs in Columbus that we end up going to. High school. That's where I went to high school at. Um, got a little bit of everything in me, so... You like rip your rip, rip your city, rip your. I don't want to know where to. I don't know who to rip. <laughs> All right, so y'all let me know in the, the comments below. Should I rap Little Rock? But y'all mainly say Little Rock. Why? 
because they don't on the map yet, you know. And that's where I was born. Like, so why not? I always give my love. I always represent. Always represent Little Rock. Like that's what still most of my family is still there today. My dad's family. So I'm gonna rep the 501 for sure. Ain't no doubt about it. Now Atlanta, my little sister and my little brother was born in Atlanta. And I still rep them sometimes soon, you know, because I was there for what, 10 years? Mainly of my whole grade school year, I was in Georgia, Carson, Georgia. So and then we moved here. Like at the end of the middle school, mostly high school. Now that I'm an adult, I've been in Columbus for the long years. So it's Columbus. I, I work from all, I work all of them. So sorry if I'm getting all over the place, y'all. <laughs> sorry if I'm doing it all over the place. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, we be everywhere. We been here. I love it here. I love Ohio. I love Little Rock. Hell, and I love Atlanta. I love I love all three. Like I don't know. I wish if I had the funds and the means, I would. I would get a place in each state because I love it, all three of them so much. But yeah, that's just a little bit about me. You know where I'm from. You know. Uh, and I do have brothers and sisters on my dad's side. Move my fingers out for this one. <laughs> That's no shape. Um, uh, if, I can, if I'm counting right, I believe it's seven of us on my dad's side. Now, my older brother and my older sister on my mom's side, we all got the same dad. Um, and then it's um, four more boys um, on this side. And then I also got stepbrothers. I got stepsisters. Man, I have a, <laughs> I have a lot of them. I got two stepsisters on my dad's side. And I have a stepbrother on my dad's side. And I had two stepbrothers on my um, mom's side with her husband, but I thought I don't really look. I don't like calling them step brothers. I don't like calling. Y'all let me know if y'all into that. Like, ain't no half brother and no half sister. That's my sister. That's my sister. That's my brother. That's my brother. You know, that's just that. Like, <laughs> that's just that. Um. But my stepdad has two boys and a girl. So I got two brothers and a stepsister. Mom's side, on my dad's side, I got the opposite. One brother and two stepsisters. <laughs> and we know a whole bunch of nieces and nephews. So I love kids. I do. I love kids. I always have. Shout out to all my siblings. I love them all. I love them all. Okay. And we're very close. Okay. Mm, I'm close. Okay. I'm just definitely going to say that. I mean, I do know. Um, my dad's wife kids but i don't really go to little rock that often guys they stay little rock i don't really go to little rock that often so i don't really have that much of a relationship with them versus i have with my other stuff brothers and sisters who we grew up a lot together um they're still in the them and i got my sisters from my house michigan but it's all our business um, they're in Atlanta still. We're, we're close with them. Very close with them. Yeah, I got family in Little Rock. Got family in Atlanta. 
And we don't have that much family in Ohio, but we made our own little family, you know? I got a whole bunch of friends. A long time friends we went to high school with. Them. So that basically, that's my family, like. Blood can make us any thicker. And I mean that, like. That's my family. My fam fam, so. Yeah, that's just a little bit about me and, you know, that's it. Not much. I ain't going in too much. I ain't about to give y'all too much. <laughs> uh, so, just stay tuned, guys. I think that's about to be it. The end of the mug bomb. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be doing a vlog with my best friend. Later on tonight, we're supposed to be hitting the gym. So, stay tuned for that. And... Yeah, I think that'll be it, you know. I think that's about it. I'm just rambling all over the place. But I'm just pretty much telling you guys my favorite YouTubers, why I'm starting YouTube, who I watch, my siblings, where I'm from. Yeah. So, guys, that'll be the end of this mukbang. Make sure y'all click that like button. Don't forget to... um. Subscribe to this channel, please. You will not regret it. I'm going to get some better content out there. I'm going to get better content. I, I promise. I promise. You're going to get some good ass friends. I promise. So stay tuned. Love yourself. Be you. And stay true to you. Okay? So peace and love. And we out. Yeah. Stay in your lane, you better not swear what's where you going Got chopper bullets when it rain, that shit be pouring Can't fuck with bitches, cause these bitches get annoying I'm in the trap house, make a flip and buy some drawing